Hey guys, so today we're gonna kind of start setting up the patio pond. So this guy, um, again, this is 40 gallons, just at Home Depot, it's like $25, just a tote. And then we're gonna be putting these like wall rocks around it to make it look kind of nice. And it's just in the backyard here where our stairs go up on the deck. So kind of a ni nice little spot. And then I have power right there which is handy and then for now I'm just going to be using this little container fountain thing and I'm hoping that'll work for this it should um, and then I might supplement it with a sponge filter in here as well and then I think we'll put some pots in the bottom for stacking plants up and fish hidey holes and things like that so I've got a big stack of these these came from our front yard when we redid it. We even used some for our little fire pit there. I'm going to start stacking these up and kind of coming up with an idea of how we're going to do this. I don't know if I want to center it in here because then it'll take up a bunch of space. So maybe I'll keep it scooted over to the left and then still have some room to get underneath there in case I need to. So. I think I kind of like it there because it's centered on this post and then maybe I could you know at night maybe hang like a solar powered light here or something I don't know we'll see so let's go ahead and start stacking these around perfect So I think I finally kind of finished this out. I didn't have enough of the bricks, but um, I don't think it really matters because of the corners. They go over this level and I really want the bricks up this high so the tote is down below. It just looks better. And uh, so what we're gonna do is actually my wife's idea is use these terracotta pots we got these terracotta pots and we can put some uh, like creeping flowers out of those which will be super cool and then again we got them back here and then thinking maybe I don't know if pothos likes outside but uh, we'll try maybe some pothos and some other plants that don't need a lot of water um, because here in Colorado these terracotta pots dry out pretty quick and then we have a bunch of these like plastic um, plant pots that your plants come in from like Home Depot and stuff and uh, I just put this color one in here just so you could see but we can put them upside down and then well here I'll just use this as an example you can put your plant in here so it's not you know too deep and then the palm plant can come uh, out of there and then the fish will have somewhere to hide if I do like you know drill a hole in this or whatever they can swim in there so yeah I think this will be pretty cool and then again I've got the pump here so I'm gonna open that up probably and maybe drain actually let me show you what I've got in here so I've got this kind of torn up but I've got a bunch of spiky moss on these rocks, which might be kind of cool out there. All these stem plants. And I've got some dwarf sag that can grow along the bottom. And I've got this huge uh, red Reuben sword, which I think might really color up if we put it outside. 
and uh, yeah, a bunch of these stem plants. So I think like this ground cover, and then I tore a bunch of that out of there and dumped it in this tank. So it's all just kind of floating in here. So I can move that out. And we might end up with some little shrimpies out there, which might be okay. I'm gonna use this sand and there's some aqua soil in the corners. Uh, I'll use all this substrate out there just so you know I'm not wasting it and then I've got more sand out in the garage in case I need it but uh, yeah let's go ahead and kind of work on this so I've got this water filling this tub up this hose is hooked to this old pump and it's just plugged in works pretty good when you're you know like this tank down here when I have to drain it um, suction like normal you know you have to have a pump to get water out of that because there's not enough drop because this is like low to the ground so this is pretty handy and it drains a bit quicker than like a normal siphon that's what I was trying to say siphon than a regular siphon does I think I'll take this driftwood out there too here Let's just grab it now. I think this will look pretty cool out here. I'm not sure where I'll end up putting it, but... Somewhere for the fish to hide. So yeah, I'm gonna let that drain a little bit. I'm not sure the chain of events I'm gonna have here, so I'm gonna start moving some of these plants out there. So I've got the pump on a couple of the rocks from the 40. I think I'm gonna get a different pump. This one's just pretty unimpressive, so I'll probably order something online, and then once it gets here, return this um, to Lowe's or whatever, and then uh, or Home Depot. So I've got a bunch of the plants. Sorry about the glare there, but uh, yeah, so all these, basically what I'm doing for now is I've got these uh, plant weights from Aquarium Co-op. They just come in a bag with a bunch of them in there, and then pulling out the plants and twisting these plant weights around the bottom, and then just kind of throwing them down in there, and they look amazing from up above. I can't wait to see what this looks like once the sun gets it and I really hope some of these turn a nice red but I'm gonna keep working on this and getting some plants moved over and uh, then maybe I can uh, get the substrate in here and then kind of get these planted hopefully all right guys I'm moving right along and these are looking really good out here I know it's like not sunny or anything, but I really like this top-down view. And then I took the driftwood from the 40. That one's kind of draped over the edge, which is super cool. And this one kind of comes through here. And then I found this little Anubius. It's a Nana Petite. I found it um, when I was taking all the plants out. So I attached him right here so he's really close to the surface so maybe just maybe we'll get a flower and then over here we got this piece of driftwood I actually had all this bulbitis uh, in my grow out tank the one that's underneath of the the main 40 and I attached it to this piece of wood and he's just kind of hanging out there I'm hoping like bulbitis will grow out of the water so I'm hoping it'll come right out of there. So, looking pretty good so far. I don't have any of the substrate in yet. My wife's got some strawberries there, so maybe we can use some of the water to, to uh, water that. And I've got a bucket full of plants here. And actually, this is the red Reuben sword. I couldn't believe how big this thing had gotten, but it looks 
really nice. And then I got a bunch of crypts. You can see that one hanging off of there. Here, let me... I'm not sure how well all these are going to do out here, but oh well. Experiment. But yeah, a little cryptocore in there. And you can see the giant mess I've got going. So I'm letting the filter run a little bit um, so I can clear this out. Well, I've made a gigantic mess. When I put all the uh, substrate in there, it basically just made it a, you know, into mud water. So I am doing a water change. Hopefully that'll help a little bit, but at least I'm you know, watering the roses and stuff while I'm at it. So I just took some of the um, old rocks from the tank and set them on the edge of the plastic tub. Kind of made some shade areas, which is nice, and then once this clears up, I'll show you I've got some rock formations in there so the fish can go in and hide in case a bird tries to eat them or something. But I've got the plants, at least these ones in the substrate. I still have a bucket full of plants over here. And if you look at that, the fish are not happy. So, so these will be going in there soon. And there you can see that bulbitis I was talking about. It is on that piece of driftwood there. There's that little piece of Anubius. So anyway, just need to do kind of water change. Get all this like mud muck crap out of here. So it's a couple days later, a lot less rain, and uh, it's been cool the last few nights, so the plant's probably not doing so great, but you know, it is what it is. Um, we should start warming up here soon, but I wanted to show you our progress here. It's actually looking really good, so everything's kind of cleared up. I don't know if you can see, like there's the sword plant, um, there's all the bulbitis there and all the different plants there. I attached some Anubias to this stick that comes. So there's a stick that comes from right here, stick there, and a stick there. It's all some driftwood that I had. My wife took these flower pots and put some flowers around it so it looks pretty nice. This is a lot clearer now. Um, I still have some auto sinkless hanging out in here so I need to hold on to them I'll probably put them down in this one with the frontosa babies but I'm not sure that's a lot of fish down there so anyway I need to clean all this out clean it all up I'm going to take the background off um, there's a bunch of bubbles in it you can see there's a bubble there's a bubble so the background's not looking so good. I'll probably paint it black. Um, anyway, the video's not about this, but watch for my upcoming videos. I've got a pretty sweet scape going for that. So guys, there is our little patio pond. It, not really a pond, it's a, you know, a tote with a, you know, a bunch of water in it, some rocks around it, but super happy with it. I'm hoping to pick up some rice fish. I was hoping I could get some from Fish Boy. I'll link his channel down below if you want to check him out. He's got some pretty cool videos. He's actually recently started his own store. He breeds rice fish and stuff, but he doesn't have any available right now. So hopefully he has some soon. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments below. Please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Hit the little bell. I do have some videos coming up uh, doing some rescapes of some tanks inside and of course I'll be doing updates of the patio pond here and uh, yeah, see you on the next one.